guys, this is Nick Phillips with PH Lawn Care and Echo Means Business User Advisory Group. And today, uh, this is probably the most fun video of any lawn care YouTuber to do is your trailer setup video. Uh, I always have a good time uh, doing these videos, get to show what I use and all, all that stuff. So uh, let's get started. The first thing that uh, you want to start with with the setup is the horse that's towing the trailer that gets you around it everywhere you need to go. And this year I'm rolling with a 2019 Ford XLT package. It does have the 6.7 liter power stroke engine in it. Um, it's a 2019 model. And uh, since I've got a 7x16 trailer with all that weight in it, the three quarter ton truck has done great. Plus, I've noticed over using the half ton pickup truck, uh, towing that big of a trailer, my gas mileage has increased. Now, of course, everybody knows the price of diesel is more, but uh, it's actually coming out more advantageous to me to go with the diesel towing this much weight. But anyway, there's the truck. And a crucial part of my lawn care setup is the truck toolbox and what I keep in there. So let's take a peek at a few of the things that I've got in there right now. All the way in the end, I've got the Leaf Burrito. A shout out to uh, Tino and Ricky with AJ's Lawn Care down in Texas. They turned me on to the Leaf Burrito. Love that thing. Of course, I keep my tripod in here for shooting videos. All my oils and lubes, socket set, and of course, uh, gloves and tie downs. Plus weed killer and stuff like that there. Uh, another thing I like keeping there, I've got the DeWalt uh, drill set just in case stuff. And this, I love this thing. It has saved me so many times for flat tires. It has the digital PSI reading right here. And it, it's a battery powered air compressor. Just real quick, pop the battery in, put it on. And if you got a flat with the slow leak, maybe you can hobble through the day with the help of this thing, which has been great. Another thing I like to keep in my truck, on my trailer at all times, whether I'm do, going out to do a tree job or not, uh, mainly I'm mowing every day, but I always, and I've told guys this before, always keep a chainsaw with you because you never know when a customer is going to run up and, hey, do you got time just to cut down a, a limb or do this, that, with it that you need a chainsaw for? and you pick up an extra bit of cash while you're there. So keeping a chainsaw on hand is always handy and a good way to pick up some extra cash. The two chainsaws I have right now that I'm running with actually, for the little stuff, it's a 56 volt E-Force Echo DCS 5000. See the battery here? And whenever I just need a little grab and go chainsaw, this thing is perfect. Now for the big boy stuff, and the bad beast i've got the echo 620 pw love this chainsaw tons of power i'm running with the 20 inch bar i uh, don't quote me on this you may want to uh, check it i know you can go to a 22 but i think you can also go up to a 24 inch bar on that but like i said i'm just running the 20 inch bar again it's the echo 620 pw pw is for the for the full wrap around handle love that chainsaw it, when you fire it up you just hear it and it's just like, it's a beast. So love that thing. So that's the truck, the toolbox, and the contents of the toolbox. So let's move on to the machinery that makes all the money. We're going to start with the Skag. This is a 2021 model. It's a 61 inch cut, Velocity Plus Deck, Skag Turf Tiger 2. Now this comes with different engine variations. But I'm running the Kawasaki engine on this one. Um, bought it new in 2021, actually December of 2021. Didn't use it till March of 2022. So this thing just has one full season and part of this season on it. And it's already logging in at, let's see, 380 even hours, 380.0. Love this machine. I had a Turf Tiger uh, 2 before this one, a 2020, 2020 model. Loved it. It was at like 600 hours out of warranty. So I went with the 2021 version before the prices spiked on them because in 2022 they were going to have a significant price increase. So I thought while the price was still as low as it could be at that time, I would go ahead and replace it and get a newer one. Love this thing. Now, I'm going to move on to the X mark, but I want to point out 
two things that both of these mowers have in common. Number one, both of them are running the Kawasaki engines. Number two, if you'll notice, and I'll get on here and demonstrate, the grass flap. Love the grass flap. It's on both mowers, and they're out of um, Louisville, Kentucky, if I'm not badly mistaken. I know they're in Kentucky. Uh, this past October at the Expo, got a chance of meeting the folks with the grass flap. Super nice people, American-made product, American-made jobs. How can you go wrong with that? Plus, it's a fantastic product. Recommend that you have one on your big mowers. Keep the grass clippings out of the mulch beds, that sort of thing. Um, they're just really great to have, but love the grass flap brand. Moving on to the X Mark. This is a 48-inch turf tracer. This is what I refer to lovingly as my billy goat because this... This mower will mow hills that I don't like to walk on that are so steep. That, that's primarily why I have this mower, because in East Tennessee, you have to have a mower that will mow steep hills. That one will hug a hill, but that's not what it, it's meant for. That's what this guy's for. Plus, it helps me get into those backyards with smaller gates that I can't get a 61-inch through. I also have the one-wheel Velky on the back of it. A lot of people prefer the two wheel. I've only ran a one wheel. It came on it brand new. I'm still running it. Uh, again, this is a 2019 model. Um, like I said, it's my backup mower, my hill mower, my small gate mower, and it's clocking in at 709.7 hours. But I cannot say enough good things about this mower. Honestly, and that one as well, but that one's only a year old, so you wouldn't expect anything to go wrong with it. But Honestly, the only thing I've ever done to this mower, knock on wood, is routine maintenance. Oil changes, of course, air filters, keep it greased, keep all, all the bushings and stuff greased. That, that's key to the life of it. Never had to replace a spindle, again, knock on wood, or a belt. So this has just been an amazing mower. Love it. Um, and it, it does a great job. So anybody that's looking for a walk behind, I'm not a big fan of walk behinds. I know people like the standards now, but I'm not a big fan of walk behinds, but it is a necessity in my business. So that's why I've got it and I love it. So that's the big mowers that I, that I run with, my bigger properties and to knock out the flat ones real quick and the hills that I must have this one for. So those are my big mowers. So let's go take a look inside the trailer and see what's going on. Okay, we're on the inside of the trailer. Again, uh, this is a homesteader trailer. It is a uh, seven foot wide, 16 feet long, six, six and a half, no, the opening six and a half feet tall, seven feet tall on the inside. So I can actually walk out and just barely duck my head to keep from knocking myself senseless. My last trailer was a six foot, and every time I went out it, I, I bumped my head, so I went with a bigger opening on this one. But anyway, moving to the inside. If you're a Green Touch fan, or an Echo fan, or an Echo and Green Touch fan, you are gonna love this trailer. If you're not, sorry, but that's what you're gonna see here for a little while. Um, we're gonna start out right here. This, this is the only rack in the trailer that's not green touch it is a buyers b-u-y-e-r-s um i may stand corrected on that but i believe that's how you spell it amazon i think is 20 bucks i've had this thing for at least five years and it does great so why replace it it's a trimmer line rack and i just keep some cutters here pull it out snip it off and of course i keep my safety glasses there too um these are backups. I keep a pair in the truck that I run with all the time. And if I forget to grab them, I've got these. I can just pull them out and go. I am running with the Echo Black Diamond 0.095 trimmer line. Love this trimmer line. Great stuff. Uh, I've ran it for, I think this is my third season running with the trimmer line. So love the Black Diamond. Let's move on to the string trimmers. Big boy up here. This is the Echo 30. 20 t 3020t moving down i've got the echo 2620t another echo 2620t and then the srm 225 now nick why do you have four trimmers i get asked all the time you're solo operator why do you have four trimmers 
let me explain real quick. This one's for the, the big stuff, the tall, gnarly, thick stuff. It, it is, some people don't mind running with this as they're grab and go. It's a little, I'm older, so it's a little heavier for me. I just don't want to run with this all day, but I love the brute force power of it whenever I've got a weed eat stuff that's three feet tall. So that's why I have that. I started out as a 2620T and the 3020T as my backup, but then this become just primary thick stuff trimmer. And I got another 2620T as a backup. So, or whenever I do have the luxury of having somebody run with me, um, last year I, I went through three employees, but occasionally some guys will go, Hey, I can help you out for a couple of days this week. So I want them to have a trimmer. This one, the SRM 225, how I acquired it is I hired an employee last year who weighed 138 pounds. So I was noticing how he was lugging around the 2620 and he just wasn't doing so great with it. I talked to him about it and he's like, man, it's just so heavy. It's wearing me out. So I went to Cox Tractor and picked up one of these, a lot lighter weight, a um, lot more, less power. So it's more easily managed and he did great with that over the 2620 so it's just if i get somebody that's inexperienced or not as physically statured this is a great trimmer for them to run with and then that's why i have a backup for this one and then this one for the thick stuff so there's the explanation of that again here's the green touch trimmer racks this is the four position of course four trimmers i need a four position rack that's green touch. I keep, I run with ear protection that I can, that's Bluetooth so I can listen to music and stuff. But if those go dead, I've got Echo uh, earmuffs as backup and I always keep a pair of gloves uh, just hanging here just in case. We've got the green touch hand tool rack, just shovels, rakes, stuff like that. But that's the green touch uh, hand tool rack. I've just got some cheap dollar clips here that I keep my garden rake in, leaf rake in. I'm sorry, garden rake, my leaf rake in. And this uh, bungee just keeps the sticks from flying around and getting in the way of the skag and stuff. Now, this is my mix can, and this is my regular gas can. How do you differentiate? Well, this is the new generation of the Sure can. This is different. You don't have to twist this off. You can actually burp the can like this so the pressure doesn't build up in it. They still both have the uh, medicine bottle top lids. However, for some reason on the new ones, they didn't put this, which I think they should have. That way you don't lose this cap because I don't know how many times I'll take this off and it ends up bouncing around the trailer. But I've got the mix and the regular, uh, both Sure cans. And then from Green Touch Industries, I've got the Sure cage for both of them. This are the old models. They've come out uh, with the new spring loaded models. I haven't opted to shell out the cash to go up for them for obvious reasons. These do the job. Why get rid of them until something tears up with them or something like that? What's the point? So there's my fuel station. Moving on, this is a green touch sprayer rack. It's a Ryobi battery powered. That's your weed sprayer right there. So, and the green touch sprayer rack. Now my newest member to the family is the HC2210. I haven't even put gas in it yet, guys. I cannot wait to try this out. I've got some hedge trimming jobs coming up this week. I will be using it, so watch out for that review video also coming up. Uh, after the first or second time I use this, I will be putting out a review on it, so stay tuned for that. Can't wait. Um, but So I don't can't tell you much about this trimmer yet other than I'm really excited to use it but it's nestled in a green touch trimmer rack as well. So got that. Now the only thing that's really bugging me about my trailer right now is it needs a paint job. The inside desperately needs a paint job. Um, I mount it on plywood just to give it some extra security. This is a lot of weight also, and I've got a piece of plywood that it's mounted to. Now I only have to push mow, I think three backyards is all I have out of all my routes. I only have three backyards. So that I need a push mower for. So the DLM 2100, this is the self-propelled version. The battery powered 
mower from Echo. It runs off of the same E-Force batteries, the 56 volt that the uh, chainsaw does. There's a whole line of E-Force battery powered equipment. This actually has room for two. So if one quits working, it automatically switches over the other one to give you a lot more um, <laughs> mowing time. Sorry about that. Uh, so it'll keep you going longer. But like I said, I've only got three little backyards that I need it for. That, that's why this, the battery version is perfect for me. I uh, love the way it adjusts the height. It's just one lever and you've got it. And you can actually fold this guy down like that and it takes up even less room so i just keep it nestled back here moving on this thing is great come fall and spring this is the echo shredding back this is the bag that it goes in you just put it on there and for corners of mulch beds and stuff where you're trying to blow it out and it keeps blowing back in just suck it out with these people ask me all the time uh is it worth getting one of these Whenever you're thinking about buying one, you can't come up with enough reasons to justify it. However, I find it funny, people, after they buy one, they're like, oh my gosh, I've found so many different uses for this thing. It comes in handy with this, 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 and this. And that's what I've found. Uh, after I got it, I bought it specifically for leaf cleanup jobs, getting into corners and stuff that I couldn't get. But since then, uh, doing hedge trimming jobs, Instead of blowing it out in the yard and mulching it up, you can just go through and suck it up with that. So that's the Echo Shredding Back. Now, this is the Green Touch Industries two position trimmer rack with the pole saw attachment. This is extra, guys. It doesn't come with this, and I can't give you a price point right now. I can't remember. I think it's in the $79.99 to $99 range, but it bolts on. To any position green touch trimmer rack that you have whether you've got the two three or four you can bolt this on to that so since we're talking about the pole saw attachment for the green touch trimmer rack let's talk about the ppt 2620 love this thing you do it does expand i think you can cut up to 15 feet high um you may want to check that as well but i'm pretty sure that that's the measurement maybe 13 you just undo the butterfly nut slide this out and it gives you so much more extension this has the 2620 head unit on it which everybody knows has excellent power and what i love about them the durability and the reliability of the 2620 head unit so yes we are talking about two 2620 uh, string trimmers and now a 2620 uh, pole saw love this love it now this is the hca Noticing a, a pattern here, 2620 also. This is the articulating hedge trimmer. Just squeeze that and I think it um, goes up and down so you can get the, those hard to reach areas. Love this one. Funny story, just real quick. This is my second one. I bought a brand new one uh, last year. And this year doing a spring cleanup job, I left it in the driveway. Had to pull my truck up just a few feet forgot it was laying in the driveway ran over this whole part of it and uh, the only thing salvageable was the 2620 head unit so it was going to cost so much to to replace all this i just got a new one so but i love this head trimmer great money maker for you moving on brd bed redefiner 2620 so i'm guessing y'all know the pattern now so this is a bed redefiner and it also comes with an edger blade. So if you're not doing landscaping, uh, you can put an edger blade on it for just edging sidewalks and stuff. People think you can use this thing to establish a new bed when doing landscaping. That's not what it's for. It's called a bed redefiner, which means it's already got a edge on it. You just need to get it sharp again. Great for that. Start out taking a little bit off the top and then ease down. Everybody wants to use it like an, sorry about that, use it like an excavator and just take big chunks. Don't do that. Just scrape the top at first with it and then let it work itself down. 
that you'll find that it, it performs excellent if you'll just do it like that instead of trying to dig a four inch trench with it right off the bat just take a little bit at a time and it'll get there doesn't take that much longer but you'll be super satisfied with the results if you'll do that and then flip edge with a string trimmer go down it you've got a perfectly edged landscape so awesome love this tool as well now let's talk about the most powerful controversial debatable but I believe to be the most powerful backpack blower on the market, there's two of them. Uh, the PB9010T, I have a set of them. You always want a backup uh, blower in case one goes down. The reason I like the PB9010T is because this is my leaf cleanup job. Love this. Has awesome power to move what I need to move, but yet I use it everyday use. Um, why do I have two of them? Sometimes you can acquire things uh, used for the price of another that's a smaller version, like say a 580T brand new. Maybe you can pick up one used for the same price. Uh, I didn't buy both of these brand new. Uh, one of them is brand new. One of them I bought used, but both of them, I think this one's two years old and this one's a year old. I can't tell the difference in which is which, but uh, they're both fairly new, both less than two years old, but they are also resting in the Green Touch blower racks. Love these guys. There, get that out. And then I've got the tubes down here, tube holders. So that's that. So we've covered the trimmers, all the hand tools, the blowers, and the mowers. Now I'd like to leave you all with the three things that I cannot run this business without. You're running a mowing business, and that's usually what a, a landscape company starts out at. You're just mowing yards. Uh, the three things that I absolutely have to have, and if I was starting my business over again, that I would start with. Number one, you're going to have to have a string trimmer. Obviously, my choice will be the Echo 2620T. Love this thing. So that would be my uh, string trimmer of choice. Number two, you're going to need a blower. Not only uh, for the mowing jobs to blow off the driveways and sidewalks and stuff, but it'll also open you up to give you fall revenue for the leaf cleanups. If you're financial, financially able to do it, go ahead and start with the big boy. That way you can generate the income from the fall cleanups. So you're going to need a blower, which I recommend the PB9010T. We'll make our way out of the trailer for the third one. I'm a Skag and Xmark fan. I lean more towards Skag, but if I had, like I was saying, if I had to start my business all over again, the the mower that I cannot exist in East Tennessee without having would be the Xmark Turf Tracer. So I don't have to turn down the yards that have steep hills. Um, I can go ahead and say yes to them to get my my business rolling. So again, to wrap it up, the the three things that I, I've got to have is the string trimmer, the 2620T, the blower, the PP9010T, and the mower that I would start it all over again with would be the Exmark Turf Tracer. So there's the three things, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow Echo Means Business on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. And we'll catch you on the next one.